Hello ROS developers, welcome to the ROS in 5 minute video series by Deconstructs, your channel for everything ROS. I am by the Adirin Yola and in this video we will be answering the question what is gazebo simulation. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, your online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find the link to this academy in the video description. Now let's get started. Um, we say we wanted to answer the question what is gazebo simulation and for this we are using another powerful tool ROS development studio which is a powerful online tool for pushing your ROS learning in a practical way. So let's get started. We will start by creating what we call a ROS jet to demonstrate what gazebo is. So let's do that. Okay, once that is done, we open up the project. For this simulation, we will be using two tools. The first one is called Gazebo. Interestingly, let's take it to the side there. And then the other one is called a Shell, which we are all familiar with. And then we get to work straight away and we are going to launch the simulation using ROS launch. Now this package is Gazebo ROS. Then we look at all the options we have and we select the mod world. And we'll launch it. Let's give it some time to bring out the display. Let's watch this space. Ah, okay. Can you see that? I can see something moving here. So let's look at it more closely. Oh, okay. So here I have three robots, and I have what looks like a table, two objects in front of them interesting so this is gazebo simulation now for the theory let's have a look we said yeah we said this is robot simulation and it's made with gazebo which is a 3d simulator with several abilities and it's able to simulate a population of robots for both indoor and outdoor environments you can see from our environment here that we have three robots and then some objects in front of them and then it's similar to game engines only that is better and then it produces some interfaces for users and programs right and then it has the main components here are word files models gz server gz client and gz web which we can all see here so this is the world, this environment where the simulation is happening and then we have models which are these moving robots and then even the elements here, um, we have GZ server itself, if you see the, the output of the program here you can see that we have GZ server and when we launched it, we launched a world and then we also have GZ client, so GZ web is a web version of GZ client and it's actually what we are using for this simulation and that was it um, you can read more about gazebo simulation at gazebosim.org so did you like the video if you did please give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day Either ways, please share your thoughts with us in the comments area. Peace out. Odabo.